Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to the gameplay of Bastion. I think this is going to be my legit 14.5 for the episode of my current Bastion because my pecker apparently went missing and I didn't notice this until I made this freaking video. Uh, I, I mean, I rewatched the episode 13 of my run and then going to ep uh, rewatching episode 14 and I didn't realize my pecker actually wasn't there. It was a shame because I actually just found its egg uh, during one of my visit at uh, where is it? Somewhere southern north. I think it's around Burston Quarry. Yeah, yeah, Burston Quarry. Oh, wait, is it Burston Quarry? Isn't it Mount Zane? Well, I didn't not notice that ambience. Is that around Mount Zane or Burston Quarry? I actually forgot. <laughs> Trigger Hill, Call for. Oh, wait, is it Call for Cauldron? I think it's Call for. Oh, yeah, 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 right, right. The moment where I actually managed to find a living uh, egg or something after beating an area in this certain area, but. I didn't really exactly remember, but it was more or less uh, that area. Yeah, it's like the latest uh, domestical animal that I found. Sort of my ankle getter that's still alive. My steam bowl still alive as well, and my squirrel was, was also alive too. Becker didn't make it, and I don't think I can recover him. God damn it. Alright, also a little bit of a funny story as well. Uh, I've been actually uh, keep my bastion opening and closing as well. While maintaining myself not to play the major story. Because uh, Nanny's, uh, my nanny's little cousin uh, tends to uh, accidentally... Dis wait, no, not really exactly accidentally. It just happened to discover my laptop and he just basically asked me to play a certain game. He, uh, he just asked me to play it and yeah, oh well, uh, I was just eventually removing all my idols in the shrine. <laughs> because I thought like by this being activated, I thought it would be like pretty much making uh, the game harder, a lot harder. So yeah, <laughs> just messing around with the... Um, with the sail hammer and fire bellows and stunning wall up uh, in one of the uh, unrecorded who knows where with my cousin. <laughs> and then uh, I asked him whether he would control the WASD or uh, actually eventually uh, reconfigure my controls with up being upper arrow, down with down arrow, left with left and right with right arrow basically. Uh, because the distance between my uh, W, S, A, and D was pretty much much further uh, with the mouse being located at my right because I'm right-handed. Uh, yeah, so it was a bit of a struggle to play with him because, well, <laughs> you know, that kind of like uh, innocent child and such and such. Um, okay, so I want to complete my my uh, dwelling pistol proofing ground which is called sling range I really want to complete that before I can uh, visit myself Sultan's Hollow uh, to hopefully rescue Zia hope he's, she's still there but before I do that I want to see what I can do to up Great, my dwelling pistol, and hopefully just by um, okay, my higher accuracy, uh, extra damage. Mm, I'm not sure if I want the cauldron powder or wild powder. 
but I want the one with oh yeah the cripple ones. I think I want the one with the extra damage. I want the one that ignores armor. Mm, I don't know if that's gonna give effects on things. I do not want the faster reload. I might want the target penetration despite I don't think that's gonna really make a bigger effect on the target in that sling range. I do, however, want my dueling pistol to be uh, dealt with my left mouse instead of uh, right. Also, <laughs> I decided to uh, uh, to buy myself the dual decider because um, Nanny's cousin and I just decided to play around the uh, lost and found, and I just purchased dual decider. A single swift, devastating shot aims strike for the foe's most vulnerable parts. The practice of dwelling soon ceases after the selling curse and pill district. And yeah, I decided to just gonna use it. Not that it will matter or something. Yeah, I think I'm ready for the sling range. I hope that wasn't really too long, isn't it? Tap the attack button rapidly to shoot faster with dueling pistols. I know that. It is I need to work a lot with my aiming, definitely. Okay, it's doing nice, I guess. Not too good ammo-wise, but uh, yeah, it might do on things. And massive damage too, it seems. Massive damage, indeed. Oh! That's a lot improvement from my previous attempt. 648, I think my last last attempt on the previous episode was something about 612. I do want to restart, however. I just need more speed in uh, shooting those dummies. I'm pretty confident with uh, the upgrades that I did in Forge before. So I'm just gonna have to f uh, amp up my focus. Damn, that's also a bit of an improvement too. Clap it better! Almost something about 18 more points on that one. So a little bit faster in uh, beating these dummies. Shooting rather, not beating because I didn't physically contact. Uh, doing physical contact with them. So, <laughs> yeah. Oh my god! Only 8 more points! I should be able to make that one. Come on, a little bit faster! <laughs> yep, not even... Cannot even do uh, the special skill, yeah. This is just a murder buck. Or uh, I just feel like it's not meant to show. There. Might be fixed in uh, future Super Giant games. Uh, Next games, basically. Just saying, it might be able to be fixed. Oopsie doopsie. Alright, another one. <laughs> oh, this has become the quickest uh, restart that I've ever done, I suppose. Are you kidding me? Are you actually kidding me? Oh my god! That is so close! Oh, bummer Whoa! 
I thought I already did one of my best there because uh, every dummy that I took out um, costed at least 70 or something. Even some of them are more. The first one, the first dummy that I took was pretty much 70 or something. Uh, basically, it uh, granted me 70. And then I really didn't count the rest of them because I just felt like there were something about. Uh, 70 plus of points so 10 dummies and all of them has to be beaten by 70 points I think did I count that right? something about 10 dummies oh god that's quite a bullcrap isn't it I just feel like they, they might be able to give me at least a pass on that one because <laughs> ah, no, no, yeah. no, 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 best is not that nice when it comes to that Ah, okay, so every dummy spawn grants you 90 or something point uh, and then it gradually increases until you beat the dummy Huh, faster the better Hmm To be honest, I really haven't really watched any tutorials of me beating this uh, sling range. Not yet, not yet. Just wanna destroy this if I can with my passive maneuver. Oh no. Can I do that? Come on. Oh wait. Okay, I can do that. <laughs> oh. Oh! They are breakable. Pretty hilarious. Okay, let's not to bother something dead, I suppose. I'm just <sighs> kind of frustrated with this thing. Oh! Can I just already like press shift and then Oh okay! Oh my god, that took me longer than I anticipated. Jesus Christ! Okay, okay, alright, alright. Oh my god. Just simply pressing shift to any of this target. This target. Dusker's reference, really. Target. Dummy. Is what I was meant to say. Actually already grants me bonus. I didn't have to make it too much of a fuss. God damn it. I couldn't believe the sling range actually... Granted me like what? 3 to 4 proving ground episodes? Oh my god. Whatever. So the key now is to press shift as fast as possible. And then as soon as they appear, just bam the left button. Until they're basically done. My god! Didn't have to aim at him? Just gonna be reflexive with your shift and then the shooting skill And you're set! You're set as all hell And there you go! Kiss the fastest shot I ever seen. I made that to a great fuss. After a lot of episodes I went through for this goddamn Episodes. It just really, really easy. Well, if providing you have good reflex and whatnot. Slinger stro Storm. Kind of wonder what that does, but I cannot do it here. 
Press shift to defend against attacks that cannot be evaded. He blew through slinger range like it was nothing. Once you know the tricks and tips. Right, Rox? Oh my god, my left hand is shaking. Finally, 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 that one was done. If anything, I feel the hardest uh, proving ground to date for now is something about win back range that actually requires you to be pretty lucky with your green uh, squirts basically like beating them all of them before they spread further or something through all of oh my god yes 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 unbelievable oh my god unexpected so apparently you had to complete that in less than one minute. I thought it would be like 30 seconds or less. Oh man, I'll be dead by then. Hmm. I already forgot what I did at Silwood Groove. Oh wait, I think I remember. That was something about uh, beating the dummies. The more you beat them in a minimum amount of time, the better you were positioned, I think. It feels like playing chess, but with these things. Something like that, I think. Scrapyard is also was also right, really challenging. I actually managed to finish that in exactly 37 seconds. Like what the heck? Despite there were only uh, two objects that I didn't destroy, but the game already counted as 100 uh, objects to be destroyed. So that's something. Whoa! What? Very nice. Um, mm, Joe's and Bok, yeah. Uh, that episode, I'm not going back there. <laughs> Kinda gave me a bit trauma. Trapper shingle! Easy once you get... Give me a bit. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna show you at the forge. Once you get tracking critters upgrade, where bolts will seek out foes. Oh my god! What the heck? Whoa, this works for this one, eh? An already OP thing on its own, I... I'm not complaining! That is OP as all hell in the world. What the heck? That is... That makes... This proving ground a lot. Wait, uh, yeah, this trapper shingle a lot easier to complete, like, bruh. <laughs> Bullhead court, fun one as well, if I recall correctly, I had to, uh, yeah, I had to deflect a lot of the enemy's attack, uh, which unfortunately didn't include Ura fighters or something, because, yeah, I do need to practice on them. Okay. Where am I? Oh, okay. Whoa, what the? Oh yeah, Trigger Little is also nice. Once you get that uh, one upgrade that grants you faster targeting, it's no longer of a problem. Hitbox might be a little bit of a problematic there for the army carbine, but uh, hey, I did that swiftly. That aiming is awesome. Awesome! A W E S O M E. What the W E double L? I also did this one swiftly as well. I thought I would uh, counter myself a bit of a problem considering uh, a lot of the uh, accuracy and a lot of waiting when it comes to uh, Galen Mortar uh, way of firing things. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just shooting. Question mark, question mark. That's really the ones that I can remember on top of my head, really. The ones that's the most memorable. I remember what I did at Breaker Barracks. I need to rewatch re a couple of the uh, previous episodes of Broken Ground. Ah, good old, good old, good old. Good old areas. Alright, editor's note before I actually wrap the part where I uh, 
Well, not exactly right up the proving ground because I actually need to discover one more weapon uh, because <laughs> at forge you can notice that there is uh, something wrong and I still have yet to find that weapon. So I think I'm going to uh, find that weapon later on eventually and then get myself one more possible uh, memorial test that I need to do and then by then I think I will get myself the achievement to complete all the memorial tasks it's pretty interesting to know actually okay anyways I forgot to mention Camp Downsy. Camp Downsy is, was one of the hardest as well where I actually felt like I needed to take the damage to get to the switches uh, basically you had to activate all six switches under one minute if you want to complete it uh, by getting the first prize Ouch! Oh my god! Yes! <laughs> oh my god! Bro, I almost died there. Jesus! It's just nasty, but yeah. Uh, no health tonics required, or else I could see why. Uh, it will be not cheating. Uh, oh yeah, it, it it could be exploitable. So basically, you could just keep healing yourself when you got damaged by them or something, something. And then one more thing is greedy incinerator, burning the packers. Uh, uh, exception to my pet, which wasn't supposed to die, by the way. Uh, yeah. I got through it uh, simply just because the packers will eventually attack you all and all you have to do is just burn them to hell that was fun only did it in one attempt so not much of a memorial on that one alright back to your normal video I think unfortunately I'm really nearby the end of this uh, game I think which is why I decided to really just uh, Record my current run as is. So, something that I also want to complete. It's the memorial task where I want to surprise myself with the cinder thing. I also want to surprise myself with the mason thing. Deliver a single crushing blow to a foe for at least 70 damage. I think they have to get beaten with that, I suppose, uh, per shot or something. Uh, I think I will be able to achieve that by um, something that I am not really a fan of, which is to actually increase my critical hit damage with aura engravings. Um, along with Craftsman Shaft, I think. Yeah, sure. I'm keeping the slight head, though. Yeah, I'm keeping the slight head. I'm keeping the checkered face. Uppercut attacks cause no back. That's nice. Oh, focus attack. What this? To focus, defend for a few moments. You use the pull head shield, then attack. You know what? I want to try that uh, focus attack thing. A longer grip that gives superior leverage and power. Sure, sure, sure. We can try a lot of the new things with the sail hammer. Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm very, very, very sure with the uh, straight fragments, so not up up upgrading that one soon. I could uh, upgrade myself my uh, this gallon mortar, but. Uh... Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Do wonder if I want to. 
increase a little bit of the difficulty. Olak, Rotus, Lemain. Right, right, right. Regenerate. But I'm gonna not include that. Uh, I'm not gonna include this one as well. I. I'm not gonna include that as well. I just want to get myself the uh, memorial task and then I should be done. And then by then, I just want to get myself uh, a bit of a difficulty for who knows where, just for fun. After I complete all the memorial tasks. I don't think I want the U3. <laughs> Eventually, I just go with the Javel. Huh. I'm not doing Gourmet. I would experiment that on the next who knows where, but for now, I'm just gonna do it with this one. Hold on a second. I want... Wait, sorry. Not that one. I want to make sure my... Uh, fire battle upgrade is up to date. I definitely still cannot do that, unfortunately. I... Damage resistance, we're firing. Oh. Oh, nice. Flames cripple foes, fuel generation, damage per flame. Spreads wider, huh? No, no, no I, don't, I want the. I want the fuel generation. And the uh, cripple. Hmm. I want to try with the cooling intake. I want to keep the Napalm Reservoir. Wait, this lasting burn though, I'm questioning if it even matters with the uh, crippling flames or something. Uh, mm. Hmm. Hmm. I might want to try with the Thermite Reservoir. A powder that can generate extreme heat for even more destructive flames. Yeah, let's just try this out and see how it goes. And uh, before that as well, I just want to really make sure if my distillery is what I want. I still want to... I still want that. Strip fragment, uh, something that I've been relying since day one. Uh-huh, uh-huh, yeah, still okay with this. I played a lot of uh, kids who knows where to the point that it doesn't really... The past, only good thing ever come out of the past is history. Yeah, I played a lot with uh, Nanny's uh, little kid. So that it doesn't really show the... Yeah, yeah. Uh, Rock saying before I start loading this thing. Alright, so... Alright. Let's begin, shall we? Oh boy. Oh boy! Oh, there it is! <laughs> Indeed, by critical hit! Okay, that's not working. Gotcha! Oh god. The past catches up with the kid. Hardly had a moment's rest since all this started. The Cinder, on the other hand, though, that's gonna be uh, entirely a challenge. That counter though, that helps. Oops. Oof. There you go. Fair to say he's led a hard life. Supposing what he says in his sleep ain't no lie. Hello. Oh boy. That came out unexpected. Got 
Kacze. Ja. Uff. Uff, ouch. Get this! Bang. You never knew his old man, but he had his mama to take care of. Frail thing with pure white hair like his. All right, how about... Sure, sure. I think I know how to do with you a bit. All right, now. Yes! I got the sender! <laughs> Defeat 20 foes with one continuous attack without taking damage. And then the masons as well. Deliver a single crushing blow to a foe for at least 70 damage thanks to the critical hit, baby. Alright, now we can proceed this like normal. Hopefully, we can complete this one. And Kaylee. Oh dear. Yeah! She can burn! Ninety-nine. Oh, whoa, what? Having his mama's hair did the kid no favors while he was growing up. But he learned to hold his own out there. It's a bit of a focus tag, isn't it? Maybe. Gotcha. Hmm. School ain't working out, so the kid signs up for a turn on the rippling walls. Make his mama some money. Oof, ouch. Come here. Gotcha. Woo! Wait, no. Come here. There you go. Thanks to folks like the kid. The walls kept Ceylandia safe from whatever's out there. The elements, the aura, you name it. Is that drink? Oh, God. Boy. Oh boy. Good about that one. Oops. I think I'm gonna want to get rid of this comeback first. Yeah. Like that. Like that, more or less. There you go. Oh, that one's gonna take a long time to beat. There you go. The city had nothing for him. The money he'd been sending home was nowhere to be found, either. Oh. Oh, yeah. Ouch. <laughs> Proving very, very hard with this kind of a uh, parabellum. Huh. Oh, that even hit. Huh. Oof, ouch. Oh dear. Okay, this is proving very hard. Where? 
There you go. Oh boy. So what did the kid do? Why he went right on back to the walls for another five years? Get out! Lifesaver. Sorta. Of. There you go! 207. Oh boy. Hmm. Oh, this one. Problem since day one. Oh, yeah. Oh boy. In the history of Ceylandia, nobody's ever volunteered for a second shift on the walls. Oh, hello. Oof. Ouch. Oof, ouch. All my weapons are <laughs> not too not too far for range. Ouch. Trusted him to scout out farther than anybody. Ah, uh, this one. Enough, huh? oh, that's, yeah, that's there you go. Ouch. One night, on one of his expeditions, the ground beneath him shuddered, cracked, and split apart. Crack. Ah, okay. They're the one that stays static. Come! Kinds. You saw nothing where well, the world used to be. The calamity happened just like that. Oof. Gotcha. Hello. Gotcha. Gotcha. All the kid had to work with was his hammer and the clothes on his back. Tonics. Oh my god. Oopsie doopsie. Oh, ouch. That's not effective. Oh. Oh. Through twisted streets, he ran with nothing but the city crest and an old stranger's voice to guide him. Rocks. Oh boy. It's 
Scumbags! Hello. Oops! Keep falling. That ain't good. Yeah, right. Go! Oh my god. Well, ain't that pretty annoying. There he is! Oh boy. Alright, alright. Where are you? There he is! Three left. Oh boy. Oh boy, one of these kinds. God damn it. Alright, alright. Oops. Wrong way. Let's go here. But with the homing thing, right? Yeah, crap! That was. Oops. Ow. you Ouch. Bam! Hello? Shut up! I'd like to say I'll never forget him, or what he's doing, what he's done. I surely would. Mm. Stars that got me till today. Ah, <laughs> oh, rocks. Now it's raining again. At least now we can pretty much complete this memorial thing. Cinders. The cinders kept the city good and warm, made it thrive. They harnessed the force of nature, improving all aspects of life in the city. The Masons. The Masons. We built the city strong. Now there's only two of us. Is there any other... Memorials that I miss out on? For some reason I really haven't gotten the achievement for completing all the memorials. Would there be more? There could be more. Something that I have no idea. About that. Well, but we can all certainly agree. 
sail hammer and fire pillows did not go well together. <laughs> oh my god. I feel sorry for me who just did it for the sake of the challenge. I'll give me the family theater. And... Hmm. Oh, machete ain't too bad. Ghost blade. I like that. And there's Fangry Beater, Snooze Dart, Trapper Snare. Uh, sure, let's go with Ghost Blade. Just for one reason and another. The Repeater and Machete, favorite choices of the Ura Hunters we once fought. The Ura Hunters, huh? But yet, we still do fight for them, huh? So, yeah. So that's pretty much the entire challenge, all 50 minutes. I think I'm definitely gonna cut this down into something slightly more bearable to watch uh, for an episode. So yeah, 14.5, here it comes. Thank you folks for watching. Definitely gonna continue to the... Uh, what's the name again? Sultan... Sultan's Hollow, yeah. Beautiful Aurora looking there. Cheers, guys.